you all, this is how to disable MySQL or MySQL bin logs, which are log files that can easily and quickly grow to be out of control. So if you've noticed a, uh, a decrease in disk space on your MySQL server, it could be because of logs. So this is Ubuntu Linux, but the same or similar procedure may work with other flavors of Linux and also Unix. So what you'll want to do is browse to your, uh, to your, in my case on Ubuntu, it's in slash etc slash mysql slash mysql.conf.d. So I'm going to browse to that directory. And then once I'm there, you'll see that there's a configuration file called mysqld.cnf. So we want to edit that. You may use VI, you may use Nano, I use Pico, because I used to use Pine Email, and that was the text editor that was associated with Pine. So you edit that file, so Pico space MySQL.cnf, and see I selected the incorrect file. That's not the one you want. There's two files, and see, that's easy to slip up and pick the incorrect one. You want to do the one that's mysqld.cnf, and then press Enter. And you'll see this statement here. If you don't have it, well, it should be in there, but if it's not, you see in brackets you've got mysqld. All that you'll want to do directly below that is add this statement, disable underscore log underscore B -I -N. And after you've done that, you'll want to save this configuration file, and then you can restart your MySQL. Now keep in mind, if you're in a production environment, you don't want to just restart your database. That would be dumb. So make sure you're in a permissible maintenance window, and you can restart MySQL, or if you want to reboot, and you can, if you want to reboot your entire server, you know, you could do that. And uh, when the server reboots, assuming that you have MySQL D configured to automatically start, it should start, and it should see this change. So the way to validate if the change stuck is browse into the directory where the MySQL bin logs were being generated and see if, they, if they're still being generated after you've applied this configuration change because more than likely this configuration change will probably work. Keep in mind there's, there are various versions of MySQL so this procedure may not work with all versions. I'm, I'm running at the time of filming this video the latest version of Ubuntu and also the latest version of MySQL and it goes without saying you're going to need administrative rights to do this you know, to modify that configuration file, you're going to need to be root. So if you don't have root, you need to talk to your system administrator and say, hey, man, I need this configuration change to be applied. My MySQL files are growing out of control. And they'll know what you need. Hope this video helped. Be sure to subscribe and share this video with others. And if you want to support my channel, please do so. I've got a link to Patreon within this video's description. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.